Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select everything. And then on the Home tab, I'm going to click on Find and Replace. In the Find What box, I'm going to leave this blank. And in the Replace With box, I can put in whatever random word I like, just so long as that word does not appear anywhere else in the worksheet. And then I'll click on Replace All. And that replaces all of the blank cells with the word random. Then, while everything is still selected, I'm going to do the reverse of this. So in the Find What box, I am going to put in the word random, and in the Replace With box, I'm going to leave that empty. Then, just to be on the safe side, I will tick the checkbox for Match Entire Cell Contents. And if you can't see this, then you need to click on the Options button. Then I'll click on Replace All again. And that replaces all of the random words with blank cells. Now I'm going to explain what is actually happening here, because of course it looks like nothing has changed. So if I do equals and then select these values here, it turns all of the blank cells into zeros, which is not what I want. So in order to fix this, I'm going to use an if formula. And I'll say if any of these values are equal to zero, then I want it to give me a blank cell. And that is two quotation marks with nothing in between. And then if it is not equal to zero, then I want it to give me these values here and close brackets and enter. And you can see that that changes all of these zeros back into blank cells, but they are not actually blank cells. If I do equals is blank, and select this cell here and close brackets and enter and drag this formula down. You can see that it thinks that these cells are not blank. And also, if I do equals count A and then select this column here, it gives me a count of nine when actually there should be five values in this column. Also, if I select everything here, I can't fix this by right-clicking and copying and then right-clicking and pasting as values. This does get rid of the formula and turns everything into values, but it doesn't fix the fake blanks. Also, if I select everything here and then I click on Go to Special, and I try and select just the blank cells and OK. It says that there are no blank cells in this selection. And that is because these cells here are actually empty text strings. If I click on one of these cells and then press the delete key on the keyboard, that does fix it. This has now changed to true and this count has decreased by one. And these fake blanks can cause problems depending on what you're doing with your data. So I'll show you a second time how to fix this. I'll select everything and then on the Home tab, I'll click on Find and Replace. Then in the Find What box, I need to leave this blank. And in the Replace With box, I can put in whatever random word I like and then I'll click on Replace All and OK. And now I'll do the reverse of this. So I'll copy all of the Ds into the box above and then I'll delete everything from the Replace With box and then click on Replace All again and OK and Close. And now you can see the Is Blank formula is seeing all of these cells as blank and also the count has decreased to five because these cells are now actual blank cells. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get rid of fake blanks in Excel and that is everything.